Hello and welcome to the Carolina News Fastcast. I'm Jackson Green. And I'm Jace Leonard. Our top story today, Richland One celebrates Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Richland One School District held an event to raise awareness about breast cancer earlier this morning. Roughly 70 bus drivers and aides walked laps around a bus parking lot. A few of the bus drivers are cancer survivors themselves, making the event even more special. And those who walked this morning saw some really nice weather out. Let's check in with our Grace Berkery to hear more about what the rest of the day is going to look like weather wise. That's right, Jace. It is just a beautiful day outside for a walk. It's sitting around 75 degrees right now. No clouds in the sky. It's a beautiful sunny day. You know, if I wasn't out here right now, I'd probably be heading on over to the beach, but then no one would be here to give you your weather. If you want to see more on that and my full weather forecast, make sure you tune in to Carolina News at 4 p.m. Back to you. It's one shining moment, but not for Columbia. The Capital City and Colonial Life Arena have not been selected to host an NCAA March Madness game since 2019. Experts say that that won't change anytime soon either, potentially all the way even through 2030. The reason? A lack of full service hotels. Columbia has just four. These hotels are supposed to provide full in-house food service and meeting rooms over 2,000 square feet. The city hasn't built one since 2007 and will have to reach the NCAA's desired number of 8 to 10 before they'll reconsider. Moving on from basketball, our Bridget Bruchowski has more on sports. Bridget? Thanks, Jackson. Today with sports, Bryce Young is off the bench again for the Carolina Panthers, filling in for Andy Dalton following a car crash he got in, injuring his right throwing hand. Not only that, two former Panthers legends are making it to the next rounds for the Hall of Fame nominations. Also, a preview for Thursday Night Football and the World Series tomorrow night. All that and more on Carolina News at 4. You don't want to miss it. Back to you, Jackson. Thanks, Bridget. The latest high-profile sex trafficking case has led to the arrest of former Abercrombie & Fitch CEO Mike Jeffries. The 16-count indictment includes multiple charges of sex trafficking and interstate prostitution. Investigators allege Jeffries hosted sex events, coerced employees into sex acts for promotions, and used his staff to provide muscle relaxers, known as poppers, to his victims. And moving on to our special report, addiction to pornography has become a serious issue for college students. Our Austin Laws and Act spoke with those affected and psychology experts. With porn sites more accessible than ever thanks to the internet, kids are starting to watch pornography at increasingly young ages. 14 these days is actually not that young of age. You'd be surprised. And we'll have Austin's full story on the effects of porn addiction on our 4 o'clock show. Thanks for tuning in to our FastCast. I'm Jace Leonard. And I'm Jackson Green. Make sure you tune in again at 4 tonight for our full show.